Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, where serious market researchers come for news, insights, and commentary about their field, assisting their internal research efforts and educating them about external research issues that could affect them down the road. Today on RBDR, the founder of Everipedia has defined the nine best industries he says are ripe for innovation, and it includes market research. Then an update on monies owed by Donald Trump to his pollster. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by Nuance, a decision analyst company offering multi-language verbatim coding services that quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance invites you to read tips for choosing a coding partner, which we'll tell you about later in today's video. George P. Beale is the founder of Everipedia, a knowledge aggregator and knowledge base. He blogged for the Huffington Post about a subject he says he's often asked about, the industries that are exploding and offering the best routes for new innovation. Number five on his list, behind alcohol, education, marijuana, and virtual reality, is marketing and market research together. Be all quoted marketing expert Deep Patel, who said the entire market research and marketing uh, research areas are perfectly primed for a revamp, calling survey research some of the worst market research out there due to expense, inaccuracy, and subjectivity of processing. Be all said this is an area that gets great innovation interest. As I started to read this blog, I truly expected to see assessments of openness by business categories to innovation. Instead, be all's perspectives are more oriented to market opportunity. That isn't a negative, but it's just a different way of looking at things. Next, MR Webb reported an update on a Washington Post report about monies owed by Donald J. Trump to his pollster, Tony Fabrizio. He actually owes more to Fabrizio than has been reported. The pollster was paid $624,000 in September for an initial polling bill, but not $55,000 that had been included in that invoice. The previously reported $767,000 billed by, but not paid to Fabrizio, come from what the Trump campaign describes as administrative issues that it says are being reviewed. The Huffington Post reported that Trump promoted Kellyanne Conway to campaign manager partially because he did not like when Fabrizio presented bad poll numbers and told the nominee he needed to make adjustments. New York Magazine's Gabriel Sherman has reported recently that Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, had dismissed Fabrizio's plans to conduct focus groups at the GOP convention back in July. That's your Research Business Daily Report, which has been sponsored today and will be all this week by Nuance, a decision analyst company offering multi-language verbatim coding services that quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Coding has gotten increasingly better in recent years, but it's not necessarily a component that is used regularly by many researchers, which should make the link to Nuance's tips for choosing a coding partner at least something to consider and possibly something that is an essential read. So click on the link we provided and get reacquainted or introduced to coding. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow with our Election Day edition.